Hey guys, Jeff Robb here with the Common Sense Camper. I'm not a big fan of going over things that I keep in my bags or gear bags or uh, emergency uh, containers and pouches. Uh, but I've had several requests uh, for what I keep in my loadout bags. And I've come to the realization that I'm kind of being stingy by not sharing. I see some of these videos and they, they bore me to death. And it, it, it's probably because I just, I don't know. I don't really care what people keep in those bags. But I also realize that some people are new to being prepared and, and having gear that's uh, easily and uh, readily available to them and they're trying to get ideas so I'm gonna stop being stingy with that and I'm gonna share uh, this is the the number one requested loadout bag that, that I've had requests to to uh, share so uh, I won't go over the bag because I've already done a review on it but in a nutshell this is the max edition fatty pocket organizer uh, has a velcro piece here so you can individualize it with your patch double Zippers, YKK zippers with paracord pulls. On the back, you have molly webbing and you have a uh, carry handle. So, this is what I keep in my fatty pocket organizer. Now, I use this, uh, I keep this in my truck. I use this at work all the time. I use this for camping, fishing, hiking, and hunting. This is one bag that wherever I go, this bag is typically with me. Uh, so I'm going to go over the contents here. This is a rescue me tool. Now basically what this is, is you pull this plastic tab off. There's a seatbelt cutter in there. And then this is a glass punch. Now one thing I recommend is that you, contrary to what I have here, do not keep this in a bag. You want to keep this in your... Uh, car or vehicle where you can get to it quickly. Now I have another one in my car that hangs from my visor so I can get to it quickly. I mainly keep this in, the, this in my bag, not so much for myself, but to help others that may be in need. So it's uh, Rescue Me. It's, called, it's spelled R-E-S-Q Me. Very inexpensive, very effective. Works really well. Do not play with this thing. There's a punch in there. It's spring-loaded and you can hurt yourself. Then on the chain, I just have a flint, uh, chapstick. Worst thing in the world uh, is to have chap lips. That's my personal opinion. Uh, just have a rolled up ball of copper. Uh, copper is conductive. You can use it to strap things with, uh, clean out hoses, air compressor hoses. Uh, lots of different uses for that. Uh, AAA batteries. Uh, one thing I recommend to anyone that's putting something like this together, if you have uh, items in there that run off of batteries, try and keep to the same type of batteries, whether they're AAA or AA, so you're not carrying around a bunch of different batteries because they, they do get heavy. This is a can opener. This is actually a military type can opener. Very lightweight, works really well. Uh, I'll do another video maybe on how to properly use this, but works really well, and uh, so I always keep one of those around. A whistle. This is probably 15 feet of paracord rope. Pair of binoculars. Now I use this a lot when I'm out hiking, and I also use it for work. A lot of times I don't want to actually climb on a roof or climb up a ladder to see something high up on a house, so I use the binoculars for that. Now on the back here is a, zip, a zipper pouch, and in here just keep some uh, toilet paper and just some spare medication, aspirin, Benadryl, uh, ibuprofen, these are neat little things to to use. These are just uh, plastic baseball cards, the hard cover type. And these are great for putting a lot of small items in your bag without taking up a lot of room. So in here I just have some rolled up duct tape, a washer, some band-aids, and then this is just uh, gardening, uh, real thin gardening metal. And then here 
I have a couple buttons. I have a razor blade. I tape that with blue tape so it doesn't poke through. A couple toothpicks, safety pen, Q-tip, straw, piece of aluminum foil. I also have some stamps in there. This is also a great idea to hide your cash in. If you want to put 20 bucks in there, I think I have 20 bucks in this one. Lock the icer. That comes in handy in a lot of situations. Uh, I can't tell you how many times someone, or I've heard someone say, hey, do you have a piece of metal coat hanger? So that's what that is. And I just tape the end with electrical tape, so that gives me a little bit of electrical tape if I need that, and it keeps from poking holes in the bag. Lighter. And on lighters, not to geek out on lighters, I prefer the clear ones or at least the white one so you can see how much fluid is in it. Nothing worse than a black lighter and you get it out and you realize that there's nothing in it. It's just a piece of oak. I can use this to shave off little pieces of kindling to start a fire with. Then on this side I have a small screwdriver that has a flat end and a Phillips. You just flip the, the end around this comes in really handy as well. This is just a snap-off razor type knife. And when the blade becomes dull, you just push this against hard surface, it snaps it off. I've actually uh, filleted fish with that, <laughs> taking this blade all the way out. And it works really well, actually. Some zip ties. Neosporin. Nail file, fingernail clippers, that's a must, tire gauge, flashlight, that's just a Mac Tools flashlight, a small pen, pencil, pry bar, I use this a lot, if you couldn't tell. Marking pen, pair of tweezers, gum, small crescent wrench. I use that a lot. <laughs> and the back of this has another pouch, keeps some business cards, a compass, and these are just some of those small little toothbrush. Has some little pointed ends on it for. Uh, Picking things out of your teeth with. And I believe that is it. So that's what I have in my fatty pocket organizer. And uh, as you can see, let me pull this off the tripod here. That holds a lot of gear. <laughs> a lot of gear. Uh, I could probably get a lot more in there, believe it or not nice thing is if you're not going to put that much gear in there this flattens out really nice uh, I when I'm when I'm going hiking sometimes I take a lot of the stuff out of this and I can actually fit this in a pair of cargo shorts works really well so hopefully this is helpful gives you an idea of what I have in my loadout bag for my fatty pocket organizer again this is Jeff with the common sense camper camping out